Welcome to this guided meditation from Soul Tranquility Healing. My name is Naomi and I'm here to guide you on this journey today. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you'll be up to date with all of our latest recordings. You'll also find the details just below this video where you can head over to our Etsy shop and experience our offerings in lots of different ways. Hello and welcome to this guided meditation for connection with Mary Magdalene and Divine Feminine Healing. This meditation will be part of a series where we will be connecting with different Ascended Masters, Gods and Goddesses that still hold much power and ability to help support us on our healing journey. You must have been drawn to this meditation for a reason. I firmly believe that all of us that find Mary Magdalene and her incredible ability to facilitate our connection with the Divine Feminine Nothing is a coincidence. You might have seen the title of this meditation and felt some curiosity, a sense of learning maybe wanting to take place, a re-education of belief systems that are false. Maybe you are experiencing the Divine Feminine Awakening, a serpent-like transformation of healing that goes beyond words. Mary Magdalene was the Divine Feminine counterpart of Yeshua, or as many know him, Jesus Christ. If Jesus or Yeshua is the Divine Masculine, Mary Magdalene is the Divine Feminine. And she truly chooses to appear to us exactly when she is ready. She is the thousand petaled rose that opens exactly when she wants to. She shows herself to you exactly when you need her. But if you've been feeling called to invite her in more deeply into your practice, into your sacred space, then this meditation is perfect to call in that energy, to harness that sacred divine feminine energy that sits within you. Sometimes it might feel like just embers may need tending in order to reignite those flames. The energy of Mary Magdalene is that of a dear friend. Someone that supports you, guides you. She holds you, she cherishes you. She shows you loving kindness, compassion. She holds space for deep healing that you might have struggled to find elsewhere. She is an ancient priestess of the old ways, Gnostic mysticism, and so much knowledge that we have sadly lost, but it can be found again in this sacred remembering and in taking part in this meditation, you are doing exactly that. So I welcome you to this journey of connection. I call in the 
sacred divine feminine energies of Mary Magdalene. I ask her to be with us, to hold space for us, to provide wisdom and messages that we require at this point on our journey. And we listen with deep reverence with the utmost respect. Committed to our own healing and remembering the sacred ways of the Divine Feminine. Let's begin by taking a deep breath releasing it slowly, making sure you're completely comfortable, maybe placing your hands over your womb and your heart, or wherever feels comfortable. As we continue to breathe, imagining that that breath isn't just moving our chest, but it's also moving our belly and our womb, creating this conscious opening, this conscious invitation of healing, of connection to Mary Magdalene. And as we breathe, we are inviting her in. Breathing just in your own pace, in your own time, but trying to slow down every exhale so that we can come into this deeply relaxed state that's more receptive to healing and any messages that might come forward today. every breath we are creating more space an openness to greater potential that really transcends conscious thought and as you breathe imagine that you're breathing the whole of womankind. Now I know that might seem like a very large scale to be picturing, but the power of breathing for all of womankind is it that it shows us how supremely connected we all are. if we all consciously connected with each other, how much could we heal each other, heal humanity? And that is the energy that Mary Magdalene really evokes. She evokes this sacred sense of community. You never feel alone when you are in Mary Magdalene's presence or when you are working with her energy. So as you breathe, and you breathe for this collective womankind energy, you feel how powerful you are. How you can really transcend 
this body, this corporeal form and move into higher consciousness, higher states of awareness. Almost as though you're breathing for Mother Earth herself. Reawakening the sacred divine feminine that is going to heal the world, not just ourselves. As you breathe for the collective, can you extend that breath, that exhale, just a little bit more? Maybe you're breathing in for four and exhaling for eight breaths, only if it feels comfortable for you to do so. resting near your womb or your heart, maybe picturing a rose, a beautiful rose that's still tight and drawn into a bud, but every time you exhale you will feel that rose open up ever so slightly, gently, exactly at the pace that it needs to. And as it slowly opens, you're going to feel all the tension, all of the physical tension of the emotional tension, the energetic tension that you have been holding in your womb, in your pelvis, in your heart, in your entire being, you'll feel it ebb away, melt away, as the rose opens automatically release all that does not serve you and as you do so Mary Magdalene is here to hold space and support the unfurling of that rose she is surrounding you with her energy with her healing she's so happy that you found yourself here As you release those emotions, as you feel that rose unfurl, you might feel tears, you might feel joy. And as you cry, she cries with you, and as you smile, she smiles back at you. You are not alone.
bravery for us to let go of the things that are binding us to suffering. She loves us, she supports us through all stages of healing. But she is so happy and overjoyed when women consciously step into their own healing abilities, just as you are doing today. Affirming with real conviction, I release all that no longer serves me. I surrender to the healing process. Can you feel how that tension is just soothing and easing away? We aren't going to focus particularly on any emotions that come up or any particular blockages or tension or stagnation that we might be holding in our womb, in our heart, in our body, because we don't need to. We don't need to relive any trauma or any pain or any suffering in order to let go of it. Mary Magdalene invites us to choose to let go of the things that hurt us. To choose to not see ourselves as a victim. To not constantly live within the wound that we may have suffered. Yes, that suffering teaches us and it is a part of our life, but we can choose to let it go and to embrace the sacred healing of those divine feminine wounds that we might carry. She is this beautiful reminder that we are so capable of healing vulnerable places within us without becoming attached to them. That might not be possible for you right now, but it is a question that we ask ourselves. Can we observe the emotions and the feelings that we connect to the womb or the heart or our body and to just look at them, but are not identify as them. Almost as though our spirit and our soul is leaving this body, this vessel that may have these wounds, and is standing alongside our body, observing it from the outside. And you may feel, as you imagine this, that Mary Magdalene is standing right beside you, which she is. And as you both look down at your body, can you look at that body with nothing but love in your heart and healing in your intention? reach out as this soul, as this pure spirit transcending your body, can you reach out and touch the places that need more love?
can you touch the places that need more healing? Can you ask Mary Magdalene to do the same? Maybe she places her hand beside yours. Maybe you leave her to just hold space and stand beside you and comfort you. Maybe she places her hands somewhere else to help support the process. Regardless of what she does, she is with you. As you stand and heal yourself with Mary Magdalene as bearing witness, you are fully recognizing that you are responsible for your own healing. And that is what Mary Magdalene teaches us. To unapologetically accept yourself as you are and honor your divinity. Mary Magdalene is this powerful leader. She is a teacher, a guide, someone that we can learn so much from. And in that capacity, she truly stands beside us. She supports us. She's showing us the way back to the wisdom that we've lost. And feel free when you're healing your physical body with your spirit self to move around. Maybe you reach out to brush your hair or to trace your fingers along your cheek. Maybe you'll sit and hold a hand and Mary Magdalene will hold the other. Whatever is happening, know that you are completely safe. And everything is unfolding exactly as it should. And if you're crying, know that tears are sacred water. They are the transference of the energy of emotion, whether that's sadness or anger or even happiness, that is being shown to the world. It is a vulnerability and it has such a beauty to it. And so if you cry, honor those tears and allow them to fall.
reason why Mary Magdalene is so powerful in this healing capacity for the Divine Feminine is because that is what she teaches, that's what she experienced in her own life when she was on earth in the vessel of Mary Magdalene as the Divine Feminine counterpart of Yeshua. And so whenever we choose to connect with her, whenever we invite her in, this is why we see her as a friend. We see her as someone who understands our suffering, who understands our pain. But she is there to teach us that we can move past it. And it is from here that Mary Magdalene lets us know that it is time for our spirit, for our soul to merge back with the body that we have been consciously healing together. This body that we have been tending to and caring for in this healing space. But before you merge back with your body, feel free to take this moment to connect with her and say what you feel needs to be said. However, I do recommend that you express gratitude in establishing this relationship, whether it's one that you formed long ago or if it is something new. Let us respect the sacredness of this moment, of this connection and of her ability to facilitate healing. So when you're ready, feeling the soul move back into the body, and when it has, beginning to wiggle your toes and your fingertips as we say our final invocation and affirmation for the end of this healing process. We express our humble gratitude to Mary Magdalene for connecting with us today. We ask that this sacred bond continues for the rest of our life. And we invite her to take part in our healing journey wherever she deems necessary. We honour and respect that we are accountable for our own healing and we are empowered by her in service to her to do so, for it is our responsibility to heal the Divine Feminine for ourselves, for womankind, for Mother Earth and for humanity, for that healing is essential for the ascension of the human race. May we find the space and find the time to transcend the physical form and connect with Mary Magdalene and other Ascended Masters again, with deep, deep reverence and gratitude in service to her. 
we thank you. Thank you so much for being here today and taking part in this guided meditation for connection with Mary Magdalene. This is a practice that is very close to my heart and is a deeply meaningful thing for me to share. I hope the messages were received and taken on to help you feel empowered on your healing journey for that is what she has taught me in my connection with her. Many blessings to you and much gratitude. I hope to see you here again soon.